You may remember this from an earlier video where I made a voltmeter. So I took that voltmeter and I reprogrammed it to read the output value of this Hall effect sensor and then an, I used an algorithm to convert that voltage into unit of gauss to measure the strength of the magnets. And because the Hall effect sensor has a range that it determines whether the polarity is north or south, I also added that into the program. So let's check it out. Okay, so I have four magnets here. First is this ceramic magnet. And so I'm going to place the magnet near the sensor and you'll see that directly on the sensor it reads 1500 gauss north. So that was the north pole of the magnet and I could look at the back of the magnet. So it looks like the back of this magnet is a little bit weaker than the front which is completely normal. The magnets aren't always uniform in strength. So let's take this small neodymium from headphones. You see that it is much stronger than that larger ceramic magnet. The 2600 gauss south. Slightly larger neodymium. And at the surface we have 3,300 gauss north. Now let's take this larger neodymium and we see it's 3,600 gauss south. Let's see the other side. 3,600 or so gauss north. So now if you wanted to make this more accurate, you could get your hands on some sort of uh, precision Gauss standard, but I don't really see the point if your only need for this unit is to measure the relative strength of different magnets that you might have. The accuracy is probably pretty close um, from the data sheet, it said, you know, 1.5% or so. Okay, so in a future video, I'm going to repackage this uh, into a much smaller format and design an enclosure and when I'm completely done with it I'll release all of the programming and the schematics and, and stuff like that so alright I well, hope you guys like it see ya